Here in Gaza, we facing uh, bad uh, war crimes. Hospitals now in the north facing direct bombing from the Israeli war planes. There is no spaces for the patients. There is no blood for them. And there is a lot of killed body around the hospital. Inside the hospital, the killed body cannot be contained. A senior doctor at Gaza's biggest hospital, Al-Shifa, describing the catastrophic scenes in and around the various hospitals, saying Israeli planes are dropping bombs on them. Reports say that scores were killed in the bombings that targeted three hospitals and a school. The Palestinian health minister said on Saturday that Israeli army used the controversial white phosphorus munitions on the Al Shifa hospital. The minister also said that 39 babies have died at the hospital due to lack of oxygen. According to reports, the Israeli military has encircled the hospital and blocked aid and flow of patients to it. The Israeli military has repeatedly accused Hamas of operating from tunnels underneath Al Shifa, which is giving shelters to tens of thousands of displaced Gazans. The IDF said that it's only targeting Hamas fighters that are holding Ghazans hostage at the hospital. The IDF and the Shin Bet eliminated the terrorist who held about a thousand residents of the Gaza Strip hostage in the Ranthisi hospital during the fighting. The forces of the Givati Brigade combat team eliminated the terrorist Ahmad Siam the commander of the Nasir Rashwan regional company in the terrorist organization Hamas, through the targeting of a fighter plane and the intelligence guidance of the Amman and the Shin Bet. Dr. Mohammad Zakut, the general director of hospitals in Gaza Strip, said that anyone that moves between the buildings of the Al-Shifa hospital is targeted and that there is no electricity to preserve the bodies of the dozens killed in and around the hospitals and there are no burial services either. Thousands more escaped the bombing in the north to a relative safety in the south, days after a daily pause of four hours in the fighting was announced. IDF said on Saturday that there will be a pause of four hours in the Jabalia refugee camp area, which has suffered heavily ever since the conflict started on October 7. Whether these daily pauses actually benefit Ghazans or not will take some time to determine, as the fighting has only intensified over the last few days. With Vishal Vivek Usamacha for NDTV.